Thank you very much. That's a big story, by the way, on BNP. Now, it's been almost two decades since the British handed Hong Kong back to the Chinese mainland. We're now going to take a look at how the special administrative region has fared over the past 17 years. The Heritage Foundation here in Washington says Hong Kong's small government, low taxes and limited regulation consistently makes it the world's top rated economy. It grew 3% last year and unemployment there is at the lowest rate since the late 1990s. Officials are keeping a close eye on inflation, though. It came in at 3.7 percent in May, down about a half percent from earlier this year. Now, the rapid growth of Chinese mainland's economy may be putting a dent in Hong Kong's competitive edge, but the city's unique government, legal framework, and international connections should help it ensure its own financial future. Kathy Yang has more. The scene at the Golden Bohemia Square in Wan Chai, where preparations were underway for the July 1st flag raising. 17 years after Britain returned Hong Kong to the Chinese mainland, the city finds itself at a crossroads as a competitive, world-class financial center. In many ways, Hong Kong has kept its advantage as an intermediary between the mainland and the outside world, says City University's Ruben Mondejar, who's lived and worked in Hong Kong since the handover in 1997. Hong Kong's awareness of the, of the new, new capabilities of Shanghai made Hong Kong realize that they have to sharpen their skills. But as the mainland becomes more and more internationalized, economists warn Hong Kong may stand to lose its competitive advantage. The overall goal has to be prioritized with a view to creating a business-friendly environment. Within that, medical, open that closed shop, business, cut those cartels out, get some true competition going here. To its advantage, however, Hong Kong is still unique in many aspects. The city's government is largely hands-off when it comes to business. Hong Kong also boasts of strong connections to the international financial markets, a sturdy legal framework, and state-of-the-art infrastructure. Hong Kong has a proud record of innovating and adapting. In just about 20 years, it's transformed itself from a mere manufacturing site for textiles, electronics and toys into a world-class financial center. And with the Chinese mainland gradually opening up to the world, academics insist it would only do Hong Kong good if it kept pace with these changes. The new game is Hong Kong has to expand its serviceable market. Before we were a gateway, now we are the front gate exiting China. So all those services that China cannot do, accounting, insurance, you know, quick transportation, because they are still sharpening, uh, making smooth these operations, Hong Kong can, can do that for them. As Hong Kong celebrates the 17th year of its establishment as a special administrative region of China, people here await what the next few years will mean for a city that's thrived on the world's growth as well as on its geographical proximity to the mainland. Kathy Yang, CCTV, Hong Kong.